Many haunts, frights, and macabre memorials litter the world. Various goosebump-inducing sites around the world offer a mix of natural and supposedly paranormal frights, from lavish decor made of human bone to eerie dolls, abandoned towns and death-defying drops. All haunted places in the world have an eerie, weird feeling, whether they are ancient fortresses, abandoned houses, old cemeteries, or dense forests. You may be one of those who urge your friends to visit the place hailed as the most haunted in your area despite reports of tragic accidents and ghost sightings. Here are the top 10 unbelievably scariest places you should not visit. Number 10. Waverly Hills Sanatorium, Kentucky. Waverly Hills Sanatorium is a two-story wooden building that was originally opened in 1910. If you're ready to be scared out of your mind, head over to Louisville, Kentucky. In fact, the building you see today was built in 1926. During the early 20th century, when tuberculosis was at its worst, it served as a tuberculosis hospital. As a result of the White Plague, a tuberculosis epidemic that devastated the United States throughout the early 20th century, thousands of patients died in the bat-winged building. The epidemic occurred during a time when tuberculosis had no known cure, and many patients historians estimate that about 8,000 died at Waverly Hills in the 1950s. One of the most haunted buildings in the United States may be the result of mistreatment and questionable experimental procedures on patients. In recent years, there has been a steady increase in the number of people investigating the Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which has resulted in some absolutely stunning findings. Number 9. The Hill of Crosses, Lithuania. Pilgrims come here to ask Jesus for miracles, and the place holds a strong devotional significance to many. The place is known for its tradition of leaving crosses. Since the 14th century, people have placed crosses here. In the benign, throughout the medieval period, these crosses expressed a desire for Lithuanian independence. During the Soviet occupation from 1944 to 1991, the hill became a place of defiance once again. In honor of the dead rebels, people began adding to the site after a peasant uprising in 1831. The Soviets bulldozed the hill and crosses three times, but locals kept rebuilding them. Thousands of crosses now clogged the place, clashing together like wind chimes in the breeze. The place is currently home to more than 200000 crosses. It has been said that crosses ward off evil spirits, but being alone amongst so many will be impossible. Number 8. Lome Bazaar, Togo, Africa. This is the biggest voodoo market in the world, and it is not for the faint of heart. Located in one of the country's scariest locations, the Lome Bazaar is a great place to purchase all kinds of black magic materials, including the remains of freshly killed animals, as well as well-preserved animal skeletons. Take a stroll through the stalls and you'll see a human skull or an animal head right in front of you. The market is run by Beninese folks, who believe that talismans are the best way to get rid of a curse or heal yourself from it. Number 7. Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, West Virginia. From March through November, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, which was used to house the mentally ill as far back as the mid-1800s, is open for tours, truly capitalizing on Halloween spirit. It closed in 1994, but ghosts are believed to haunt the building ever since. The hospital became a national historic landmark in 1990. Originally built to house only 250 patients in 1864, this Gothic building now houses 2,400 disturbed souls. It opened in 1864 as a home for epilepsy, alcoholicism, drug addiction, and non-educable mental defects. Despite overcrowding, this was no ordinary loony bin. It found that convalescing patients were confined in cages, subjected to lobotomies with ice picks, and subjected to torturous treatments such as seclusion cells, cold baths, and shock therapy during the 1949 investigation by the Charleston Gazette. Despite the souls of some of the patients lingering longer than expected, this hellhole only closed in 1994. Number 6. The Forbidden City, Beijing. There are many imperial executions that took place within the Forbidden City over the past six centuries, and the remains of these violent past can still be found in the city's walls today. It is no wonder the Forbidden City is haunted today. Strange occurrences, however, weren't reported until the 1940s, when the palace was undergoing renovations before it was open to the public. Several guards reported seeing strange animals running around and hearing flutes after dark as well as a weeping woman dressed entirely in white wandering the grounds. Number 5. Bachelors Grove Cemetery. The scariest cemetery of all is Bachelors Grove Cemetery on the outskirts of Chicago, Illinois. Many have argued that it is the scariest cemetery. There have been over 100 documented ghost sightings and supernatural phenomena reported at the burial ground over the years. There have been numerous reports of ghoulish encounters with a ghost farmer and his horse, while other visitors have witnessed a car that appeared and disappeared along the cemetery's roads. In 1991, the Chicago Sun-Times published a photo. It shows a woman sitting on a gravestone in Bachelors Grove. However, the photographer claims she was not present at the time. 
It is widely believed that a woman buried in Bachelor's Grove with a child in her arms, now known as the Madonna of Bachelor's Grove, walks the graveyard at full moon with the child in her arms. Number 4. The Skull-Lined Paris Catacombs, France. Explore the catacombs of Paris, an eerie network of old caves and tunnels lining with dead bodies, beneath the streets of Paris. In the Paris catacombs, which are 20 meters underground, millions of Parisians' remains are buried in a, literally, bone-chilling labyrinth. As the cemeteries in Paris began to overflow in the 18th century, the tunnels that were made from mining in the 13th century became mass graves. It takes on a chill when you descend into the catacombs. A haunting sign announcing the entrance reads, Arit, this is the empire of death. Stop. This is the empire of death. The catacombs are open for tours, but be careful not to get lost. The walls are said to speak after midnight. Number 3. Island of the Dolls, Xochimilco, Mexico. There is nothing creepier than American girl dolls peering at you from shelves. However, this is far worse. Dolls in varying states of disrepair hang from the trees of Mexico City's canals. Many lack the requisite appendages, but they all stare unblinkingly at you. Though Xochimilco has a rich history and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the island is most famous for its dolls, Isla de las Munecas. This small island lies hidden among the canals of the boroughs and is famous for a collection of dolls and doll parts hanging from trees. Although it looks more like a horror movie set than anything else, the Chinampa was formerly the residence of Julian Santa Barrera, who is now deceased. The toys were collected after Barrera found the dead body of a girl in a nearby canal, hoping to ward off evil spirits. Daring souls can rent a boat and go see it from the water. Number 2. Ekigahara Forest, Japan. In Fujihakoniaizu National Park in Japan, Ekigahara is known for its dense woods, which are also known as Suicide Forest or Sea of Trees. A 2016 film was centered on the forest, which became the scene of suicides after a popular novel set there was published. Vice reports an estimated 50 to 100 suicides a year prompted this. A record 105 bodies were found here in 2003, so don't be surprised if there are signs telling people to think about their children and families. Legend suggests that Aokigahara was once a place where Ubisut abandoning sick or elderly relatives to die was practiced. Aokigahara was described as the perfect place to die by Japanese author Wataru Tsurumi in 1993. Many believe the ghosts of suicide victims remain in the forest even now. Even though Aokigahara has a macabre history, the experience there was more peaceful than haunting. Number 1. Nagoro, Japan. In the Aya Valley, a small town is quaint, but this eerie village has just 30 residents, plus 400 huge dolls. In her effort to make doll replicas of her neighbors after they died or moved away, Tsukimi Ayano created the toy residents. In their clothes and all, they resemble their deceased human counterparts, which makes them even more creepy as they silently stare at you while you move through the streets. It is not uncommon for doppelgangers to appear on the riverbank, in classrooms, and outside of buildings. The eerie doppelgangers can be seen across the town. Nagaro now has about 400 dolls and 27 breathing humans, which makes it a quirky and somewhat frightening toy. Do you think you can handle visiting these scariest places? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.